Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then my Year of One is a quantity controlled low buy project that I have been on for the year of 2021, where I can only buy one thing per month. That follows on from doing a no buy year in 2020, and most of my content, as you can probably gather from that, is centered around loving fashion and beauty, but trying to keep a grip on A, my spending and my budget, but also just my sheer volume of things that I own, my clutter, not be overwhelmed by how much stuff that I own, trying to be more conscious in terms of my consuming and a little bit more mindful and also focused on getting use out of what I do own, which is what my project pan is about. And today is my fourth update for my 2021 project pan. If project panning, makeup, rehab, conscious consuming kind of content appeals to you, please do consider subscribing to my channel and yeah, let's get into the newest update. If you haven't seen any of my updates before, I will link them down below and up in the eye. This is probably the most exciting update personally I feel that we've had so far. The last update was when I had finished my primer, so the first item that was completely done, Goal Met, left the project and I've got another couple of items leaving the project today which I am so pleased about. This is not going to be a rolling project especially at this point. This is now my October update so we've got two more months and the project is done and I do have my 12 pans of Christmas project pan kicking off. I've already started filming for that and I'll share that through Vlogmas in December and I've also got a project pan already in the works for next year so I'm not going to be, when things are finished from this, I'm not going to be introducing new things. And another thing that is leaving the project today, which I'm so excited about, is my highlight. So as you know, if you watched the last update, I have been updating every update on this and being like, I'm using it consistently, but I really wasn't seeing anything. And I said in my last update, you know, I've really not used many of my other highlights this year. I don't feel I've been rotating enough, but I wasn't getting the pattern in this either. It was getting quite frustrating, but we finally got pan. Obviously you'll be seeing in the close-ups, it's a waffle pan, so it's not the most satisfying pan. I do like that peak of metal, that, that you know, that strong contrast of the silver. Definitely the more satisfying kind of pan to get, but pan is pan. I hit it maybe about a week into or a week after my last update. So my last update was the 26th of September. Today is the 24th of October. And maybe about a week after the last update hit pan and I've continued to widen the pan since originally hitting it. Obviously, there's still so much product left and I could get so much more use out of this product, but I really do just want to use some of my other highlights. This one is absolutely lovely. It's really, really pretty on the skin, but I just don't feel I've touched any of my other highlights this year basically because I've been using this um, and in particular I got a highlight for Christmas last year that I really really wanted. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow Duo, you know, and I really really wanted that and I've only started using it this month because I had hit pan in this and I've allowed myself to start using that and that that's now been in my collection for 10 months basically untouched because I've been so desperately trying to get the pan in this. I do, I want to continue project panning and using things up, but I do also want to get use out of other stuff. So now that I've hit the goal in this, I'm just gonna roll it out the project and get some use out of some other highlights. Two lip glosses have left my collection so far through this project pan, and today we are adding a third to that. So this is the Stila Lip Glaze in the shade Kitten. I'll show you in the close-ups, but you know the drill if you've seen the other updates. Um, there's like a little bit of product in these that just doesn't twist out and there's nothing you can do about it. So it looks like there's a bit left, but I've got everything out of it that you can get out of it. So it is finished, it's used up, I'm so, so pleased. So you can look out for that in my October empties. And then the other lip gloss that I have got is this one, which has seen so much use. I've still not taken the stopper out in anything. The middle's so windowed now. You can see that the product is kind of gathered at the top, which I won't get to without taking the stopper out, and what's left at the bottom. I'm still getting product out without taking the stopper out at this point, but I don't think it's that far off, so I do think before the end of the project I'm going to have cleared out all four lip glosses that I brought into this, which I'm going to be so 
pleased to have done. Since we are discussing lip products, I will talk about my lipstick. So as you guys know from the last update, I had flattened this out and I started using a brush to try and dip into it and I really did not enjoy it at all. I don't like using a lipstick like that. I just like a bullet and it is what it is and I find it quite frustrating after that point. But there is so much product. So what I did was I got it out and I put it in this little tub and I have been working through this. this so this is now in this little tub. I have used so much of this. Like when I, I should have taken a picture when I first emptied this into this because I would say there was like almost double what there is now. But I have been using it as both a lipstick and going over it with lip gloss, but also as a cream blush. And that has impacted on how much progress I've made on my blushes for this update. So they have suffered a little bit, but do you know what? I feel like I went into this project and I I think I thought I was going to finish both blushes, whereas that, that's not happening in two months. Absolutely not. Um, so if I have to not make much more progress in those blushes, but I can finish this, I would rather finish this and have it out of my collection altogether and get the, the money towards my reverse rouge total than kind of evenly go between the three. I'm not going to finish three. I'm not even going to finish two. So if I can finish one and the other two I can go back to in the future, so be it kind of thing. So. I don't think I'll have this finished by the next update or anything but I want to finish this before the end of the project so really that's December's update because we've only now got November's after this so two months to finish this and I think it'll be doable as long as I keep using it as a cream blush as well as a lipstick so that is the plan. We may as well look at the blushes since I said I have made a little bit of progress and um, I actually felt like it was nothing and then just as I was taking my cutaways, I had a look at last update's cutaways and there is a bit of movement on this. This pan has widened slightly in this direction, so it has moved a little bit. This is my Tarte blush in the shade Party. I would quite like to try and hit side pan. I don't even know if that's 100% realistic. I don't, I know I could use more product if I used the lipstick as a cream blush and then used it, this over the top of it, but I feel like then that's just using the product for the sake of using it because I feel like I wouldn't put a cream blush on and then top it up with a powder blush normally and um, like maybe if I was going in a night out or something maybe I would but I'm not saying I've never ever done that but for going to work every day or whatever if I put a cream blush on that's the blush I put on. As much as obviously I want to be getting use out of things, I want to get my reverse rouge numbers up and I want to be panning things and whatever there's also a point at which if you're just using product for the sheer sake of hitting pan, like that's as wasteful as having loads of product and not using it. Do you know what I mean? It's as much as the result is different over using a product just to use it rather than using it naturally. It's, it's not my vibe. So if I could hit side pan before the end of the project, I'd be really, really happy with that. If I don't, but I manage to finish the rest of that lipstick, dropping it that is absolutely priority number one but yeah we did get a little bit of movement on this so it was more than I had kind of thought it was so it is always nice to just see tiny bits of progress and then my other blush is obviously my hourglass one gonna be honest I don't think there's any real difference in this since I repressed it I think because I've repressed it I'm now using from the top again so I'm going down rather than maybe coming in from the sides or anything so if I'm honest, I think I've just kind of given up on expecting to get any more real progress on this blush within this project. But I think I'm going to have it in a project next year. So hopefully next year, this blush, if you've been with me for this whole project, you'll know it started in here and then bits of it fell out. So I had bits of it in here and bits of it in a tub and I've repressed it. So it's it's been not the most satisfying of panning journeys with this blush, but we will get there. As I say, I'm thinking I'll have it in a project next year and hopefully that'll be just a little bit more satisfying to watch. But what is a bit more visually satisfying is my dim light powder which sits just above or well below but above in terms of me holding it upside down in this video in this palette. I have been just consistently using this the same way that I always do. I'd hit pan in the last update. 
and I have now definitely expanded that pan. I am considering repressing this so I might repress it by the next update. It's still usable at the moment but it's definitely kind of around the edges so since I repressed the blush and I can repress into a waffle, I think that was my first time ever repressing into a waffle pan and I wasn't 100% sure it was going to go well but now I know it went fine I might repress this just to make it a little easier to use um, but yeah I expect to have this finished within the project with no real problem maybe not quite the next update but I feel like by the next update we will be on the dregs of it so another super exciting one so pleased finally finally I've got my pan in warm top it is really small pan and I'm going to be honest I like I think I said like you know I swirl my brush around in it so I'm thinking like it's taking ages to get the pan but maybe once it comes it'll be a really big pan that's not even really happened it's, it's quite a small pan but it is a pan so the sort of baby pan of it came again maybe about a week after my last update and I have then continued to use it for the month and widen it and make it into a proper, proper pan. But yeah, that is what my Modern Renaissance palette is looking like now. So I finished Impera, I've got pans in Vermeer and Primavera, and now a pan in Warm Top. And I think I'm going to declutter this palette now. Um, I'm certainly taking it out of the project. I've not 100% made up my mind, but now that I've hit pan in it, I definitely just want to take it out of the project. I've hit my goal. And I've got another eyeshadow to try and hit pan on before the end of the project. So I'm not going to continue, you know, with this when I've got the pan. But my thought process here is that I'm going to take Primavera and Vermeer out. Potentially Warm Taupe as well. I'm a bit sick of it at this point because I've been using it all year to try and get pan. Um, but I do like the colour so I might, you know, come back to it after a bit of a break. And the dark brown, the cypress umber. I think I might put them into my Z palette and then declutter the remnants. I've had this palette since it launched. Now, with ABH, you get six months. Yes, yeah, six months is the sort of suggested time. And those shades that I've mentioned are still performing absolutely fine. But yeah, like, I don't even want to think about how long I've had this palette. Was it 2014 or something this launched? Like, it was a long, long time ago. The other shades just aren't really quite there anymore. So when I started my makeup rehab journey, so I panned, I hit pan in Primavera in 2018, I think that was my first project pan and then panned it completely since then. Then Primavera, I think, was in my project pan in 2019. Vermeer was my 2020 project pan and Warm Top has been my 2021 project pan. I feel like this palette has been like on my panning journey and my makeup rehab journey, like it's been at my side, like a loyal companion for that. And I did sort of have this sort of romantic idea that I would over time get a pan in every shade in this palette, but you know, it's again, it's like the highlight. I'm not using other things in my collection because I've been trying to pan this and then the other eyeshadow that's in this project. And I do want pans and I do want to get use out of things, but I also want to be rotating around. And as I say, the other shades in this, I think have just definitely had their day. They're definitely expired. I can't complain because, you know, they've they've given their, their life service, their six months as advertised and more. But yeah, I think it might be time to say goodbye to this palette in general from my collection. So you might see that in a makeup declutter video at some point in the future. For now, this is definitely leaving this project and potentially my collection altogether. And as you will have guessed from what I just said, I have not hit pan yet in my other eyeshadow. I only actually use this twice between the last update and this update. So there's really no change it's this shade here c note in the morphe making bank palette that is my other eyeshadow that is in this project there is definitely a dip in it so i am hopeful now that i've rolled out warm top and i can just concentrate on this fairly hopeful that i still might manage to hit pan by the end of the project if not i feel like it will happen really early in 2022 but yeah there's there's definitely a dip so i'm going to continue using it now and now it can be my focus shadow, hopefully we'll get pan. No pan yet and no real change because I only used it twice, but consistent use and yeah. If I even use it, like the other one I've used five days a week at work. So if we say four weeks between this update and the next update, 
or say three weeks because I don't know that I'll take this traveling either I'm not I've not decided what I'm doing whilst I'm away even if I say I use this the 15 days that I'm working that would be 15 uses and then again the same in December maybe like again I'm away for a week in December but I might take this on that holiday with me we'll, we'll see I think hopefully hitting pan will be realistic given that we do have a dip already so we'll see we'll see with this one then my last two products the two rubbish products this lip liner I have used it it's come down a tiny tiny bit but I mean so little that it almost felt like a bit silly to bother marking it I used it more than I would have used it if it wasn't in the project. I'm going to keep it in the project. Maybe in the run up to Christmas I will use this a little bit more. I used it a few times so it's more than I would have used it if it wasn't in it. So that is, we're getting use. That is the point. And the last product is the liquid lipstick which as you say I really was concentrating on that MAC lipstick and trying to use that as both a lipstick and a cream blush. So I think I only used this two or three times. As I said in the last one I will never put a liquid lipstick in a project pan again because it's just there is no visual change for you guys. I feel like the formula sometimes feels like it's getting thinner and then sometimes it just seems to regenerate within the tube so I've got no idea whether I'm close to using this up or not. I feel like it's now just I just mentioned it for sort of formality's sake and I don't even consider this as being in this project any longer because it just looks exactly the same as it did at the start so a really terrible choice of product that I shouldn't have put in in the first place but I also don't want to just not acknowledge that it's in the project so we'll just pretend this one's not a real thing but that is everything for this update so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it as I've said I am also doing my 12 pans of Christmas project pan so I'm actually about to film my first update for that now and then I will share them during vlogmas in December so do watch out for them if you like project pan content. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed recently. I've actually seen that my numbers have started to go up a little bit. So when I first went in my no buy last year and my content changed, I lost a lot of subscribers, which was fair enough because I went from doing hauls and things to a completely different direction when I was no longer buying stuff. But I feel like it's, it's maybe evened out now and my numbers have started to go up again which is really really exciting for me and it, it really motivates me and I really really appreciate it so thank you very much if you are somebody who has subscribed recently and thank you very much if you're somebody who's been subscribed to me for a really long time and has stuck with me through this sort of change into my my new way of of doing things and um, I very much appreciate it thank you for watching this one and I will see you in my next video bye